Hi guys, Deanne here from Canada Abroad and thanks so much for tuning in. Sorry I am a bit delayed on this video, but as you can hear, um, I lost my voice a few days ago so I did have to wait for it to come back unfortunately, so just bear with me. I will try to make this all very quick for you guys. So today there are three important things that we are talking about. Number one is Bill C-19. It has um, it's received royal assent as of yesterday, June 23rd. And what that means is it is now in force. So the elements of it relating to immigration. So the fact now is that going forward in all express entry draws, the immigration minister has the authority to say that he's going to pick people based on specific criteria, such as their NOC code or language abilities. So that got royal assent yesterday, so this can be used at any time going forward. Some people thought it was not going to come into that quickly, but it, it went through its last readings and royal assent was given to it yesterday. So really, we could expect that to happen at any time. The immigration minister, when speaking at a conference recently, hinted that the express entry draw that we had on Wednesday might have been the last one before the all category draws resume. And if they keep to a two week schedule, we can expect those draws to start on July 6th. So there might be an all category draw or a federal skilled worker draw already on July 6th. But of course, nothing was mentioned about whether it would be a targeted draw because that only came into effect yesterday. So it will be interesting to see if the first draw is just a general draw or if they're already going to start targeting people from July 6th. So we don't have a concrete answer on that. We're all just going to have to wait and see what happens on that first draw. Now, like I mentioned, they did do an express entry draw this week, so on Wednesday. And with that draw, it just was for provincial nominees. So just getting the last of them out of the pool, likely before the general draws are going to resume. And they handed out a total of 636 invitations to apply. And it was just for the provincial nominees. And in order to be selected, you had to have a comprehensive ranking system score of 752 or higher. So removing 636 people, that was basically um, almost everybody who had an invitation to apply. So when the draws resume and they're doing all category draws, again, just based on the updated number of people in express entry in the different brackets, we are expecting the first draw to require you to have a score of over 500. And based on the specific brackets, it would be at least 501 or higher, because currently there's over 8,000 people with a score between 501 and 600. So that's just to give you an indicator of what you can expect in that first draw. Of course, if they do a targeted draw for a specific NOC code or people who speak French and English, then the required score could be lower depending on the CRS scores of the people with the NOC code experience that they're looking for. But if they're just going to do a general draw like we're used to, then you would need a 501 or higher. But we're not sure what the cutoff exactly will be. But based on the numbers, we, need, we know it's going to be above 500. So thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest Canadian immigration news and updates.